Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and the last review I did was for the Ultimate Stripe Gremlin. That's him over there. And these two arrived today. That's the regular Gremlin, comes with different accessories, basically one of his minions. And here we have Ultimate Gizmo, which I bought the same day I bought this one online after getting this one in person. Just, I had to get, you know, the rest of them basically. And bought the Gizmo figure and then went online, uh, went on YouTube and started looking at some reviews and realized quickly that there was an issue with the eyes. And um, I thought, oh man, well, let's hope mine isn't too bad. But as you can see, look at his eyes. He is absolutely, uh, well, you know, he looks like he's been smoking the good stuff. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix it during this review. I have an idea on how to fix the eyes, so I'll do that uh, and review him in one video for you. And the review on the regular Gremlin, which is this one here, I'll do that later on tonight, maybe. Uh, so that'll be coming soon as well. But now we're going to review the Ultimate Gizmo by NECA. Those eyes are absolutely screwed, though. I mean, I understand what they were trying to do, but you can imagine how much better this would have been if each one of these interchangeable gizmo faces just had painted eyes as part of the sculpt, you know? Just nice glossy eyes just painted in. And then, you know, obviously you'd be stuck with whichever direction those eyes were painted looking, but it's better than this. He's heft up on goofballs. <laughs> He's high as fuck. Now it's clamshell holding everything in place. So four interchangeable face plates in his eyes. Man, he's high as a giraffe, so look at that. <laughs> Accessories from Gremlins 1 and Gremlins 2. So I will be able to display him with the Gremlins 2 spider gremlin down there as Gizmo from Gremlins 2 or with Stripe from Gremlins 1. So that's really cool that they did that. The only thing letting this guy down really is the situation with the eyes, but I'm going to try to fix that. <laughs> Look at the state of him, man. Um, so you can see there's a seam at the back here. The face place will lift off, and hopefully I can remove the top of his head and put some blue tack just around the eyes. They'll still be able to use the mechanism to make them move. They'll just be pressed forward a little bit more so that they're resting up against the eyelids rather than falling back into his head. Let's just see it. If I can get his eyes to look in a different direction. No, nope. wow. He's really, really spaced. So his eyes are really, I mean, there's there's no way these are gonna be, you know, they're not gonna work unless I do what I need to do. I can sort of get them into a position. And then as soon as I remove my finger, they just wobble around wherever they wanna go anyway. So it would have been a much better idea, you know, to just have the eyes be part of each sculpt, just painted and glossy looking in different directions for each uh, faceplate. So maybe next time, but I don't know. I mean, obviously they didn't set out to annoy people. They wanted to do a cool feature, but it just didn't work. So yeah, I am going to, I'm gonna get on with the mod now, rather than wait until later, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top of Gizmo's head and see if I can fix this eye situation for myself and for all of you out there too. Maybe if it's easy enough, you can go ahead and fix yours. Because right now, this ain't going to cut it. <laughs> Let's select from the range. Now we need a prying device. Yes. Well, that barely took any effort at all. Um, I'll probably just have to glue it back together afterwards. But I literally just... Um, got the little screwdriver here and right in the corner here where there's a little uh, joint or whatever I just started to wedge that open and it just came right off uh, so the ears just I'll just attach back in like that so I need to figure out what I'm going to do now as far as uh, I'm basically just going to put a little bit of blue tack here at the back of where the eye sockets would be just to press them forward a little bit um, but there's the the little device here as well. Gosh, that is crazy. So yeah, I'll just uh, put these back in, but just put a little bit of blue tack, a little bit of blue tack, just at the back around them, just to move them forward just a touch and stop them from wiggling so much. They'll uh, they'll probably just be looking forward. You know, I'll, I'll get them in a position and then kind of keep them in that position. God, that looks... Very, very cute, but also very, very wrong. 
But there you go. In case you want to get a look at this, you can pause it. See what's going on. And then maybe fix it yourself. I, I don't think this will be a hard thing to fix. And I'll be a lot happier when I know that his eyes are uh, not looking as crazy as they were. Yeah, you see, see where you got some space there to put some blue tack? That's all I'm going to do. I'll show you what that looks like when I've done it. But there you go. But I don't think anything's broken. It was just... I didn't even really apply much pressure. I just literally, right uh, there, just kind of pried it open there and it just lifted right off. Interesting. Oh, but here's the, uh, the top of the head. So that would just go uh, back on there again. And then maybe just glue it down. A little bit of super glue. All right, let me do it. I'll get back to you. So I think I, I want him looking off to the side. Uh, not many people would agree with me on this, but when it comes to, say, the 1-6 scale Hot Toys figures and things like that, I do tend to prefer uh, the eyes when they are looking in a, you know, a direction either to the left or the right, or maybe just up a bit, rather than just staring straight ahead in front of them, because depending on what the face, the facial expression is doing, it can look a little bit lifeless and a bit blank. So I think I want... Um, I mean, I don't think Gizmo would suffer from that because he's got far too much uh, charisma. <laughs> he's, um, but that's the kind of what I've done there. Just stuffed a bit of blue tech in. It's not, you know, restricting anything too much, but it is going to stop the eyes from wiggling around. It's going to stop them from falling back into his head because you can, you can see there it's not possible. You know, you know, the blue tech is preventing that from happening. So I'm just trying to get the eyes now in a good position, slightly looking off to the side just to uh, allow me to get some cool poses going on. Let me just see how that's looking. Also might need a little bit more blue tag to be fair. Yeah, I might put some on the insides here as well. Do, 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 do. Blue tag is your friend. It'll help you get the job done. When you need to fix something on the cheap and you don't know how to do it. Use some blue tech to do it. You see that? You see what I did there? You see that madness? You see that crazy action I brought you just then? All right, let me just see. Go ahead and put his other ear into the socket. Lovely jubbly. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to just go ahead and carefully put that back down again. The eyes are... Oh, no, there we go. That's kind of in the right position. Now, this should just... Well, that just, that's just on there now. So, really, um, there's no need to glue that. You can just leave it the way it is because it's not wobbling around or anything. It is on there. The eyes are now pretty much fixed. I still think they're going to look... They're going to look a little bit deep set because it's like the, the faceplate will only go on so much. So I still think we're going to have a bit of a eyes being, um, let me just move this light down a bit. Yeah, so it's because I got the light shining right in his face now, you can see the eyes quite clearly. Uh, even though I tried to make them look like he's staring dead on straight, they still look like he's going off to the side again. but at least they're not wobbling around so much. I want them to be a little bit more forward though. So that easily comes off. Let's see what I can do. Um, now, obviously, hmm, it's not like I need this, this uh, rolling ball mechanism thing. If I want to move the eyes, I can just lift off the head and move the eyes myself individually. If I separate them from this, I can also move them forward in the head more because this has kind of reached its limit as far as how far the whole device will go forward in the head. So if I, you know, remove this from this bit, the white bit from the brown bit, then I should be able to move the eyes even further forward, but then there wouldn't be anything keeping them from falling out of his head altogether, if you know what I mean. And these little rope things just come out. So I don't know. There's ways to do this, but you saw how easy uh, it is to get the the top of his head off, and then it just clips back down again. So it's all good. 
I think I'm just going to basically put more blue tack in here. That will also help to keep the head, um, you know, on again when, when you put the top of his head back on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put more blue tack in here. I don't want the eyes to be even more forward than they were. So I'm going to really go for it now and stop being a little, a little sissy. I'm going to get this done. And we're going to get the results that we need because Dean Knight does not mess about. There we go. Right, the eyes are a lot more forward now. You go ahead, pop this back on there. And now the blue tack is, uh, you can feel it when you close the head down. It's, um, it's kind of holding it all in place, which actually works out great for us. I want you to be looking down, just looking regular, just looking forward. I'm gonna get this done. Might be a long video, but I'm sure some of you out there who want to solve this will be curious. Right, okay, now here we go. We're starting to get the eyes in the position that I want. So I'm just sick of that eyes going off to the up and slightly off to the side look. I'm going to try a different faceplate. Let's try the sad one. Let's put this back on here. See, I think when I'm pressing this down, that might be making the eyes go up as well. Hard to explain, but I think that might not be helping when I press it down. So I'm going to do that slowly. That seems to make them slightly go up, but not too much. I'm just trying to push them down again. A little pain in the bum. Good thing you were cheap. No, you weren't too cheap. It's like £35. It's the average price for these guys. All right. Okay. Now that I can live with. I might even be able to get um, some little paint bits here and there, like this a little bit of white paint there that shouldn't be there. But I can fix this myself. I can go in and just give them some few little highlights with my own paints and stuff, just to try and make him. Oh, point his ears down. He's all sad. His little head tilt. Oh, that is so sweet. Look at that. Oh, I know Gizmo. But smile. I uh, I fixed your eyes. You know, sort of. They definitely look better than they would have if I hadn't have done anything. So there you go, guys. I think that's a nice, easy solution. Just at least so you can display your gizmo how you want it to look. Um, look how far back the eye is. See, that is not what you want. God damn it. Come here. Let's get this. Let's get this done. Come here, you little sodden shit. Right. More blue tack. All right, so move them forward. That's the main thing, and make them look straight forward. So nice and forward, bulging out of the uh, proverbial socket there. You don't have your blue tack uh, too far forward, or you will see it. Don't want to see that. So just move them forward, especially this one on mine. His left eye is being a right pain in the bum. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the top of his head back on now. Nice and slow. Then we'll just go ahead, pop that on there, like so. And that doesn't look too bad. All right, that's it. I'm done. No more modding that head today because yeah, it's actually not that difficult, but it's just dragging on a bit. So there we go. Now let's get to reviewing this thing. And you can see some blue tack in there. Well, what are you going to do? Another bit in there as well. Again, what are you going to do? Maybe I can uh, pose it slightly differently to hide that. You don't see it so much when they're pointed upwards. Oh, look, he's listening. He's listening out for something. What's that? Oh. So we'll get a look at all those accessories now. This faceplate will count as one of those. That's kind of a sad faceplate. That looks like one from Gremlins 1 to me. So there's that one. And we have this cool one from Gremlins 2, where the kind of Rambo-inspired look. So I've seen in some reviews, this bit here can look a bit funny, kind of just sticking up in the air. So I'll see what I can do about that when I uh, display them like this. But that's definitely the one you'd want to use with the Spider Gremlin uh, by NECA. And over here we have... This one, it's painted okay. There's a little bit of mess here and there, but I can easily touch this up. I mean, 
I'll set aside a little bit of time later on. And I've got brown paint and white paint, so I can fix little things like that. Just neat and tidy things up a little bit. And then we have the last one here, which is kind of that cheeky little gizmo look. I think that looks like Gremlins 1 to me, the way the kind of wrinkles on the top lip there. That reminds me of Gremlins 1, so I'm pretty sure what that's supposed to be, so... Uh, I forget, though, the uh, the rope around the waist. Was that Gremlins 2? Um, possibly. I've seen both of them so many times. But I can't remember right now. Here's his little trumpet. That's from Gremlins 1. I remember that when he's sitting there playing a little tune. That's actually quite nicely done. It's a little bit warped in places, but it's, it looks all right. And the... Well, this would be really together with the bow that he fashions out of paper clips and a pencil and uh, lights this up, shoots it at the uh, spider gremlin. Stripe from Gremlins 2 sets his butt on fire. So that's pretty cool. And his Christmas hat, which will just sit on top of his head there. You can move the ears so you can position that how you like. It's actually quite nicely sculpted. I mean, it's painted pretty well too. There you go. A little Christmas hat. And the candy cane. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Alright, that's all the accessories. There's a little pose for you, just lifting up the arms and rotating the hands. And very much a kind of hug me kind of pose. Gizmo just wants a hug. You know, mean old gremlins are uh, giving him a hard time. He just needs a cuddle. It's a very nice looking piece though. Once I touch up a few little areas where there's a tiny bit of mess to do with the paint. I mean, right now I'm not really seeing anything jump out at me too bad. There was just a couple of these other face plates that need a little bit of a touch up here and there, but that looks really, really good. Great sculpt. Pretty decent paint. Very uh, alive, kind of glossy eyes because you know we know they're separate in the head and require a fair bit of uh, messing around with and modding to try and get them to look in any way not so ridiculous straight out of the box. But yeah, let's try some other poses, some other looks. I'm keen to see what he looks like paired up with the spider gremlin from Gremlins 2 in his Gremlins 2 gizmo look. Now here's Gizmo and Stripe together, just to let you see the height comparison. Gizmo just seems a bit big to me. Um, like picturing like when Billy places him on the counter in the bathroom uh, in the first film when he's fixing him, like Gizmo had a little accident, and he looks so small uh, just sitting there on the counter in the bathroom. And then the fact that he was able to fit into Billy's little backpack, I don't know, he just looks a bit big for that, but... I don't know. As far as these two look in comparison to each other, that's not too bad. Well, that faceplate definitely makes me think of Gremlins 1. Like I said before, with the kind of wrinkles above his top lip on Gizmo there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway. It's a cool faceplate. I really like that one. It's got a lot of personality. And Stripe looks awesome. I still need to uh, put a little bit of hairspray in Stripe stripes uh, mohawk here just to get the hairs to stop falling out keep it in place i want it to get it to look like this a little bit less spread out more of a mohawk look so that's all easy stuff easy fixes so as far as articulation goes you can move his arms up and down a fair bit you can turn here and at the shoulder so, and you can turn the hands and move them in and out quite a bit, actually. But then you do get a bit of distortion there, but you do move. You don't get any spare hands. The legs, they move a little bit. They can turn outwards and inwards, probably a little bit more than that. But that's about as much as I'm willing to do right now. And some good head movement. Look at that. So, potential... Uh, for stop motion is quite quite high with these pieces you could definitely do that and have some fun but as far as the sculpt goes very good now obviously 
you saw before what I had to do to get the eyes to chill out a little bit so this is not as flush as I'd like it to be but I can work on that that's that's not the end of the world that's fixable at least his eyes are not as far back in his head as they used to be so and the ears move upwards downwards forwards backwards all around really look at that great ear movement and you can turn them as well point them right down if you so desire now he looks really cheeky little hairy pimp it's stripe in the background yeah, coming back to the whole pimp thing he looks totally pimpified here he's even got his own custom cane Candy cane. Wow, now he really is just so sweet. It's really cool to have him. You know, again, you can fix that. I can. I know where the uh, the blue tack is showing now, so I can just lift off the head, get that back a bit, and he won't see it anymore. You can't see it in the corner of his eyes or anything like that. And his eyes are as far forward as I was able to get them. Um, so they're not as bad as they were they don't wobble around anymore either you can go crazy and the eyes will still be in the right position so it's an easy fix and uh, no holes underneath um, the feet here for any bases to clip into so that's interesting trademark at Warner Brothers Entertainment and uh, made in China so yeah you always got to be careful for um, fakes when it comes to NECA. I did buy uh, more than one of their Ultimate Chucky figures, and one of them uh, was a bit too good to be true when it came to the price, but it said it was from the UK, and I thought, well, maybe they just got loads of stock. They're trying to clear them out. It wasn't too cheap, but it was a little bit cheaper than most of the other ones. It turned out to be a fake Chucky, so I got two real ones and one fake one. Um, so this one was £35 uh, shipped on eBay from the UK. To the uk so within the country and um i thought to myself well he's got a great rating um his description seems nice and thorough so i'm pretty damn sure this is a genuine real uh neck um gizmo but be careful that's all i'm saying just be careful and don't be too quick to hit the buy it now uh, option i mean for people in america it's easy you can go right into a store and just look at gizmo for yourself and make sure you're getting a good one uh, but in the UK, there's uh, there's a few places around where you can get your NECA figures, but it's not as easy. Like we don't have that place called Target uh, or whatever it else it is you got in the U uh, in America. You're lucky, you can just walk in and pick pick it up right there. I love being able to get the uh, NECA figures in person because you need to check for paint problems and stuff. So yeah, I have to go online usually and get mine, or maybe if I go up London, Forbidden Planet, but they do like to charge crazy amounts of money for their stuff so you just gotta be careful and hope you get a good one i really like this sculpt so yeah i'll fix that don't worry about it chill out it's all good <sighs> look at that yeah <laughs> all right so going with the rambo look just so i can at least include uh, a section with him standing beside the spider gremlin in this review representing both figures in their gremlins 2 uh, you know looks so the um the headband does tend to lift up a bit i'm pretty sure if you just i don't know there's ways there's many ways you could get this to just settle down and just sort of stay there it doesn't need it that much it only lifts up a little bit but obviously for photography you're not going to want it to look like that and you would kind of want it to follow the contours of his eyebrow there. You can see. I mean, you could easily just glue this down. Uh, but then again, hmm. Well, you could at least, because you you're going to want to still switch your face plates out. So you could at least glue this down to the face plate just here. And maybe between the brows there to get that to fall and keep in line where it should. And then once you do glue where my two, where my thumb and the finger is if you glue at those two points on the face plate the rest as you can see pretty much takes care of itself see how it falls flat because this is stuck down to the face plate so i might go ahead and do that right now just to get that out of the way go ahead and film it for you 
not too much. Just a touch. And then another one uh, about there with it. Just a touch. And any uh, any little issues that prop up when it comes to uh, so as you can see, the bandana is now falling. Oh, it's also lifting up because I didn't do it for long enough, but survival war. Got to become war. I'm still waiting for the glue to dry. Oh, it's tedious. All right, so thanks to the glue, I have managed to get the bandana to kind of sit nice and flush. It is only glued down to the faceplate itself, not the actual figure's head no so you're going to be able to remove this just fine it just means that the bandana now kind of sits more naturally on top of gizmo's head and doesn't look all weird so there you go another little fix i know i'm good to you i know so here he is in his rambo look with his little bow his little arrow firebomb thing and just checking the pictures in the background i remember now what the um you know the little rope around his waist it's meant to be from this look apparently so there it is all complete and it is badass nothing left to do now but to pair him up with the spider gremlin right so because i'm setting up a little gremlins 2 display i'm gonna head up into the loft <laughs> because I got me something cool. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff up here. Man. Oh, my God. <sighs> Spider-Man. He's fine. He just looks a little bit weary. But he's fine. Don't worry about it. Do you know some garbage pail kids? Where are we? Oh, yeah. Gremlins 2. The new batch. Yeah. Friggin' sweet. The nice big chunky VHS as well. From uh, back in the day. That is going to be sweet. Gremlins 2. Sweet. All right, we got what we need. Go ahead. Whoa. And Stripe can hold on to some of Gizmo's accessories as well. So like the trumpet there. Stripe's looking at it all curious. Like, what is this? Now that is an option. All right, here is Gizmo in his Rambo look from Gremlins 2. With the Spider Gremlin by NECA. Same company. Just a few years older, this piece. Really incredible paintwork on this. We saw this in a little comparison with the Stripe Gremlin from Gremlins 1 in the last review. So there is Gizmo. Looking pretty good. Pretty good scale-wise, too. All right, guys, my final thoughts are that Gizmo is a very good figure with a major sort of issue with the eyes. But as you saw in this review, it's really not that difficult to fix. You shouldn't have to. Of course you shouldn't. But it's not like this figure is breaking the bank right now. He's the same as the others, about £35. So, um, you know, obviously NECA didn't set out to upset people when they made this. They tried their best. They tried an idea. It didn't quite work out. They definitely might want to rethink, like I said, uh, just making the eyes part of each faceplate so that you don't have to worry about moving eyes anymore. Just have each one of these faceplates with eyes looking in a different direction. Left, right, up, down, whatever. Maybe even winking. Who, who knows? Um, and that's the only thing, really. That's the only issue. He's a great looking piece. You know, once you fix the eye situation, easy fix. So share this around if you want with your um, your other friends who collect NECA stuff who maybe own some of the Gremlins figures by NECA and maybe they'll be able to fix their gizmo as well. So share the video around, help some people see it, uh, help me out too. And other than the eye thing, I'm very happy with all the accessories, all the different looks you can achieve with him. The fact that you can set him up as gizmo from part one or part two really does make you kind of need to buy two of these uh, particular ultimate gizmo figures. 
So I may do that. I might not. I might just stick with one. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I can uh, definitely recommend it. You know, he is a great looking figure. It does look exactly like Gizmo. And yeah, cool accessories, great sculpt, pretty decent paint. Um, never been that keen on this artwork. I remember um, it put me off buying the DVD for a long time because I wanted the original cover like this. Uh, but that's the only one that was available for a long time in the UK. So it just put me off getting it. So I finally got it the first movie when I saw this uh, really nice steelbook available. So, yeah, I do recommend the Gizmo figure. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um, literally just taking off points there because of the eye situation. But like I said, easy fix. And now that I've done it, I'm very, very happy and satisfied with the figure. So I give him a 7 out of 10. And keep an eye out for the next review which i think hopefully should be problem free and that will be for the the regular gremlin that comes with some really cool accessories so i'm really looking forward to messing around with some of these bits and pieces obviously the playing cards the chocolate bars the popcorn the 3d glasses the coke drink you know this is just this is just fun in a box right here so I'll do this review really soon. Keep it locked. Share it around. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. Let me know how you feel about the review on the neck of stuff. And um, yeah, definitely recommend everything you're seeing before you right now. That's highly recommended. This is highly recommended. Knowing what you're going in for, this is highly recommended. So subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on videos. That way you get an email when I upload a new clip. I'll let you know so you don't miss out. Check me out on Instagram at dnight333 and Facebook. And check out the Patreon page if you want to help support the channel. Keep me pumping out these reviews. Keep you informed. Keep you up to date. Keep the channel nice and uh, alive. Greatly appreciated. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.